Hey, y'all. Um, we just got done seeing Dr. Rom, uh, Nom, I'm sorry, and, um, she gave her an exam and she said that she thinks that it is more of a back, uh, thing than, uh, her legs. And so, um, she gave her some methocarbamol, meth methocarbamol, <clears throat> it's, um, um, a muscle relaxer, and they increased her Rimadol from once a day to twice a day. So, um, we're going to try that first, and then um, if that doesn't do the trick, um, then we'll have to go to x-rays. Now, the good thing about the Banfield Health Plan, y'all, is, you know, I'm not... Uh, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not good at, like, saving money. And, um, I know there's going to be a couple of you that will rip me for that. So what? Bleh. I don't care. Like, you're perfect. <laughs> anyway, that's one of the reasons why I have the Banfield health plan for Hazel is because I pay it by the month and um, and then when I need it, it's there. It's just like today's visit would normally be like, I don't know, $52, $55. I could bring her in three times a week to see the vet and it does not cost anything for the office visits. Um, you know, I get her teeth cleaned every year. Price that out at events with no health plan. It's crazy. Um, so the thing with the x-rays is if I increase her health plan to the next level, it cost me an extra $10 a month, and for that, she gets x-rays once a year if she needs them. Um, she gets a cardio something or other. She gets an extra urinalysis thingy. And she gets a glaucoma test for her eyes. So basically, um, that comes out, that extra $10 comes out to $120 a year. The x-rays would start at $250. So you can see... Um, it's worthwhile, at least for me, to have this health plan for Hazel. Now, y'all know, or a lot of y'all know, that when I was working and had a good job, Hazel had two health plans. She had a health plan, and then she had a disease-slash-accident plan with VIP. I think it's VIP. I'm not sure. There's a V in there. And so that covered her if she were to get like cancer or diabetes or any of those diseases, you know, that are possible. Also, if um, she were to get hit by a car or um, another animal attack her 
or, you know, accidents. So she had that plan as well. And, um, uh, you know, I finally had to give up that plan. But, and, and there was a time when I had zero income before I got my disability that um, she didn't even have a health plan. But as soon as I was able, that was like the first thing I did was I got her back on her Banfield health plan. Um, so that works for me, y'all. And it has worked very well for Miss Hazel. Um, she was really bad this morning. And then she had some episodes this afternoon, and now she seems to be doing okay. So, that's what's going on, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our drugs, huh, baby girl? So, um, I just thank you guys so much. I, I know that I can count on you guys. I mean, you are so wonderful and it just, I mean, it just makes a world of difference to me. And, um, not only your love and your support and your prayers, but y'all give me something to do. <laughs> I have to work. I have to work. I went through and I I did. I answered as many comments as I could. And, um, you know, 99% of them were with little hearts. And um, now guess whose sciatica is bothering her now? Yes, me. That digging with the shovel, but I'm almost done. I work this afternoon and I would work while Hazel was sleeping, and then I would come to the front and I would open the door and she'd be sleeping. I'd go back and I'd work a little more. And then, do you remember when our babies were little and do you remember, um, like, if your baby was taking an extra long nap that was unusual, or maybe they stayed asleep in the morning when they never did that? I can tell you Samuel never slept an extra second, but very rarely he would. And Aaron would also. And you know how that thing is. You just go in like every five minutes. Why is he still asleep? And you get down and you listen to them. You put your hand on their chest. You have to make sure that they're okay. And I'm the same way with Hazel. When I woke up really early this morning... And I looked down there in her bed, and she wasn't in there. I was like, oh my God, where is she? And it took me, uh, I actually got out of bed, and I was looking around the rest of the bedroom. She can't get out because I keep the door closed for that reason. And then I went back over because her covers were like in her bed were really flat. So I ran back over and jumped up on the bed. And as I was about to put my hand down to feel for her, I saw her in the corner. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, you know exactly what I mean. These little animals are just like our babies. I mean, I don't dress Hazel up a lot. 
she does not eat at the table if you've ever seen some of those animal things and people have little high chairs and their dog eats at the table hazel is my baby but she is a dog okay she's a dog but anyway y'all i just wanted to let you know you know what was going on and so we're both gonna go home and uh it's late but i have to take an anison for my back and then i'll be up a while reading because of the caffeine but thank you guys so very much the vet is not uh i didn't get a sense of urgency from her uh so i'll give it a week and see how this medication does and if she's not improved then um then we'll do the x-rays definitely no doubt about that if dr nam had uh had a sense of urgency and felt like okay we need to get some x-rays on her then definitely she would have had them today but they will have to give her a shot to give her some sedation you know how miss hazel is and there's there's no way they could get an x-ray on her um and you know, it was really weird, y'all. Usually right when we get to the doors of PetSmart, she starts shaking and shivering. She didn't even do that today. She didn't do that at all. It's like, what's up with you, Miss Weirdness? <laughs> but I'm relieved that she, that Dr. Nam was not all urgency on me. So... Thank y'all again, and as usual, I have plenty of visi plenty of visios to put out. So do something fun today. I worked in the yard. That's always fun for me. Talk to you guys later. Bye now.